Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Pete's Gamer, right? and we're starting a new FS22 series called the Decade Series. We're starting from the 1970s, moving up to, to the present decade, the 2020s. So let's jump into it. Woo! All right, guys. It is um. If in case you're wondering what year it is, it is 1974. I'm in my four right now. My grandpa passed away, and he lives up here in Nebraska. I live down. I live. I live down in Georgia. So, we're moving up here, because he wanted me to take on his farm, so, we're moving up there to keep it in his name, so we keep the farm going. I've been driving for, I've been driving for about five, ten hours now, yeah, it's been about ten hour drive, it's about, well, I'm about, uh, not hour nine, it's about, got maybe ten minutes, ten, ten minutes to go, so. Almost there, guys. We we just gotta kind of almost have to tailgate this guy. He's going s slow as molasses. We gotta, we gotta we gotta speed up there. Come on, speed up, Buckaroo. Speed up. I may be able to pass this guy. I passed him. I was not gonna stay behind. Him. Also. Tell me if you like my Ford, it's a real nice Ford. Come on. Uh, I honestly don't know where we are heading right now, guys. I think... I think I think we're going the wrong way, guys. So I'll see y'all in a sec. Okay, guys. I am so sorry. I'm just in the U-turn here because guess what just happened, bro? I actually put in GPS for my grandma's house. Yes, they were divorced. Grandma and grandma was divorced, bro. So guys, I'm partners. So well, I've been the wrong GPS. Now we're at the grandma's house. They but yeah, they both live in Nebraska. They're good. They're from the Nebraska. Live in Nebraska. Stay in Nebraska. She's still alive, but I'm not here to visit her. I'm here to live in Nebraska. Oh boy, if I'm not to take place, my grandpa. Okay, now there's a slope I gotta pass. Yeah, got him. For it being for it being a for it being a Ford, it goes pretty dang fast. Now you know what he does have. I don't think I, he may have left it for, behind for my brother. I don't know, but he had this really nice Ford Mustang, dude. He had this really nice Ford Mustang. And I'm hoping it's still there, dude. Because I honestly, because I think it, my brother's getting it, but I but I may get it. Because I know he's not moving up here. I'm going to just park, park inside the road so I can talk to y'all. Well, actually, no, it's, yeah, because it, no, that's the, that's a slope up, but he was flying. <sighs> Anyways, like I was saying, um, I think my brother may get it, but since I'm staying, gonna stay up in Nebraska and take his place, I may get it. I don't know, dude. I'm honestly hungry, dude. I'm honestly starving, bro. Oh, good, there's a McDonald's right up here. <sighs> good thing, bro. Oh, wait. Oh, that, oh, that's my grandpa's place. That's my, um, he, he worked, he, um, he worked for, he, he made, um, he actually worked for a dealership. That's gonna, that's a, that's a truck that's not released yet. It's on my property. Dude, perfect time, and there's, is a McDonald's here, guys. So, we're just gonna, kind of park right here on the side. We're gonna walk in there, get some need, I'll see y'all in the gym. Alright guys, there's like no people in there, surprisingly. Just got a food and we're heading back. Uh, let's back up and let's head over there. That's a... That's supposed to be a 1985. They're still working on it. Because this is the this is the semi-factory. He it's Which his house was like right here. Wow. Oh wow! Yeah, that's my old house. When I used to visit up here, 
I always would have to. I always would. I always dreamed of right, learning how to ride a horse. So I, I got. So I got a little. I, it was a baby horse. It was a baby horse at the time, and I named him Fabio because because he looked like a show I watched a lot. And the main character's name was Fabio. So yeah. Um. Anyways, let's go say hi to Fabio. It looks like he's no food or water. We'll have to fill that up. Hey Fabio, hey boy. All right, let's go. No way. Ho ho ho. No way. No man's Ford Mustang. Holy dude. Oh, this is the nineteen. This is a nineteen sixty nine Ford Mustang. This is a GT. This is the highest model. Um, Mustang, you can get right now. They're going. They're coming out for a GT. They're coming out with like a n new type of it, which is gonna be better than the old GT. But that's coming out in like 1975, like 1977. That's like three years from now. So, holy guys, let's, let's jump in it. There, ah, uh, dang it, the keys aren't it. Shoot, did he leave it in his pocket? Because net, because if so, it's in. Nah, it's probably on his key right here. Yep, it's right here. We got him. Oh, wait, I think this is it. Wait, is, yeah, it says Ford on him, but he may have, like, a truck around here that's Ford. Let me see. Oh, no, this is it. Oh, my. He did not let anyone. He didn't even let me drive. And that's hard to look. He didn't even let me drive this thing. Y'all think what I'm thinking? Nah, we'll just, we'll just do it kind of in this. He's a big concrete area. That's a blank. Oh, this is his barn. Wait, is this his barn? No way. Wait, what's in the... What's in the barn? What's in the barn? Is it... Is it... What? And wait, does this door open? Yeah, I don't think he is this door. He has a pulley system going on, so the thing doesn't collapse. Yeah, this is an old barn. He, it's so this thing's so old. He's an it's it's so old that they sell a pulley system. He he took good care of that stuff, but with my with my bad back and stuff, he didn't have anything wrong with him. He just uh he died from old age. He was ninety. He was ninety four. Oh, that's put a dent in it. Ooh, yeah, we just put a little scratch in the bumper. Ah, oh, shoot. Now he's probably gonna haunt me from his grave, but it won't matter. Dude, he, dude, did you see the back of this thing? Look at it. It's all bent up. He, he already did. He already put this car through some hard times. Whoo! But we're just gonna leave that here. Turn it off. We're gonna stick the keys in my pocket. We're gonna jump in the pickup. And, uh,. Back up, and we're gonna start unloading. I, I've, I've all my stuff in the toolbox, and I forgot my strap because I don't want to go need straps. I'll have to buy some. So, so we can get up. The, let me try to just back up, kind of on the deck a little bit. I don't want to crack the deck. That house, oh, that house was built. That house was built in nineteen. That house was built in nineteen forty four or nineteen forty five. Can't remember. Let's just. Do that, and we may be able to jump on the truck, jump over the rails, maybe. There's an entrance right here. I can't get in there. I mean, I could, but. Got it, got it. Okay. Let's try to crouch, maybe. Grab the stuff. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, we got it all. Let's jump on the pickup. Let's close up the tailgate. Yes, just to let you know, yes, you guys have been, you guys were literally probably saying to yourself, what you, so you have your radio antenna right here, but while we were with these two um, things on the back, I have, I got CB, I got CB on this truck. It's a nice truck. This is, this truck's not even that old, honestly. See my house that uh, over 
that was down in Georgia. It had a, it had an actual garage for the door up here in Nebraska. It's not that fancy. A little close up. You kind of got to squeeze to get out. You know, you know how it is. We have to get out. We have to get out the passenger side. Anyways. Probably going to... Turn on the lights here. <sighs> Place is nice. What about these bedrooms here? This is this was his bedroom, I guess, and I'm guessing this is probably the bathroom. Yep. A shake on me. I'm looking good. Right. Looks like he has some disc detergent. And some coffee. Huh. Oh, he didn't even wash those things. We'll toss the we'll, we'll toss that in the sink. We gotta clean that. We'll clean that sometime. We'll throw that in the sink. He he, he was he some Windex. Uh oh, what is this? Oh, that is, that is heavy, guys. Oh, we'll take a look at that tomorrow. Eh. Yeah. Now, we'll just... We'll wash and go sit this in the living room. Oh, gosh, it's heavy. Sheesh. He did live alone, so that makes sense why I only had one chair here. Oh, looks like... He had a towel. He was doing laundry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is how they said he died. Um, he basically... Yeah, oh my, they stole the stuff there. Wow. So this is... You can literally see... Basically, it was a hot day. He just finished mowing the grass. I don't know where any of his equipment is, dude. It's all gone. And my family members got it when I'm going to run the farm. So weird. He came in after mowing one hot, sunny day. He sat down. He sat down here. He was folding those... Long, he sat his sunglasses and his headphones down there he turned the radio on turned on the football game turned on the tv and then he just started folding laundry and then they said when he got to the last towel he right when he finished in the last tower he went to go reach to turn the radio off he went to go get up to turn the radio off and then he just collapsed head first they actually glued the table i don't know if y'all can see that line they glued the table because he smashed right through the table it, it's sad. What is this? This looks like the loft. We had a sleepover. This is where we stayed. Yep. It's the place. Over there. Over there used to have a wooden floor. So basically, over here, we used to have a sleeping bag. I used to sleep here, and then my brother, there was a loft over there on over the floor and went. And then he used to sleep over there. Good times. But I'm probably going to hit the sack. And I'll see y'all in the morning. Yeah. Good night, guys. Yeah, man. Good morning. It is another beautiful day. Gonna make me a cup of joe. Probably just gonna drink the whole pot. Uh, make me turn that on. Okay, we filled it up, as you can see. We're just gonna drink that. Yoy! Yeah, probably shouldn't have done that. How do I, how do I gonna get that down? Oi! Just toss that in the sink. <sighs> Just let's see some use up there. Right, let me just pick this up. Fill this up with water. The humidifier. There we go. I'll fill that up. Well, it is another beautiful day here on the farm. Not really a farm. Uh, we're gonna have to buy some equipment. But the only thing is, dude, is we only have like a hundred, one hundred and thirteen thousand dollars, and you know that's pretty expensive. That's pretty. That's a good bit of money. But guys, the only problem is, let me just move this on this over here, un under here, because it's raining. Gotta get stuff under here. 
gotta grab this bucket. Yeah, uh, if y'all don't know what this is, he used to sit this here when it rained. And he'd collect water. And that's when he'd use the give the horse water. But honestly, we're 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 better than that. We're actually gonna give him some nice water. Um let's get this under there. Oh, that wheelbarrow is not moving. It is rusted to the ground. <clears throat> yeah, that's rusted to the ground. Oh, I didn't even know it was a chimney. Oh, wow. I remember this thing. This thing used to be a nice... This thing used to be a blue canoe. No, it was a bright yellow canoe. And me and him used to go fishing in that thing at the lake, which is down the road down there. All the time. But yeah, I think we're. Do we? I'm at work and jump in the pickup. We're going to climb through this over to the passenger seat. To the driver's seat. Yeah, try not to hit. Try not to hit the prop. Try not to hit the Mustang. Man, I cannot wait to see what. Could you imagine? Nope. I noticed there's some paint ripping over here, dude. Could you imagine? Like, probably like many decades. Uh, many decades to come. Like, They've already listed what how, like how the decades are gonna be. Could you imagine maybe like in the twenty twenties or something what that barn's gonna look like? It is it's already not looking that good, but you no. Know, it's at least it, before he died he put a fresh coat of paint on it, so I don't gotta do anything. I'm gonna head to the pickup, go get me some breakfast over at McDonald's. <laughs> See I'm probably just gonna be eating McDonald's by every single day since it's literally across the road. Paint's worn out. They need to get more paint. Um, I guess I'll see y'all once I get my food. Thank you. You too. Yeah. Um, if y'all don't actually know, this is not a door. People think this is a door. This is actually a window. It's one. Of the, it's a big sliding window. I don't understand why they do that, but it is. Jump on the floor. Also, tell me if tell me if you like the Ford. I think the Ford's pretty nice. Look at those. Got CB. Bed truck. We got a gooseneck on it. It's a nice truck. I cannot imagine. Uh, they're, they're, I cannot imagine what trucks are gonna look like many years from now. They probably, they probably look crazy. Probably gonna be way more high tech than these. But pretty much, this is basically it. the actually, this is the one of the top of the line trucks you can get right now. This is um actually this is a nine. This is a nine. This is a 1972. This is a 1972 um Ford. F100 series, small block, diesel, um, V V8, V8 manual, stick shift, real nice truck. It, and then I, now, well, you know what the good thing is? His, the, I mean, his, his, um, Mustang's a stick shift, my truck's a stick shift. So, honestly... It is a good thing that, see, no, see, my dad didn't know stick shift, well, my dad knew stick shift, but he didn't know it, like, that well, but, like, so, really, no one can really teach me, but he, but he was, well, my grandpa was really good at stick shift, so, he taught me everything I need to know about stick shift, that's a good thing, because, did you, because, uh, Pretty much every single car is a stick shift, but actually, but but tra tractors. Now they're making tractors that come not stick shift. And they're actually starting to make a few trucks. Like they just came out with this. They just came out with this um, nineteen. They just came out with this nineteen seventy three um, manual GMC. It's a pretty nice truck, but I think I'm gonna stick with my Ford. But I don't think we're going to be able to get the equipment, because this video is getting ready to end. We're probably just going to go rip, um, rip, the, must, rip the Mustang on the road.
out in the road. We're probably gonna end the video. Come on. Oh, that stick shift is stiff. Yeah. There we go. Let's get a move on, guys. And look at that. It has sensor opening when the front of the Bronco comes. It opens. I'll, I think that's cool. How that? He always does that. Let's, but we're just gonna head out. And uh, I guess we're just gonna go on driving the in the Mustang. It was on the wrong side of the road there for a sec. The year 1947. I don't think since it's already October, we can't plant in October, so probably 1947, pushing 1946, no, not 1940, um, I mean, it's 1974 right now, it's 1974 right now, and since it's already late October, probably 1975, pushing 1976, probably we're going to go get that equipment and start the farm. We're probably going to start farming until I can't no more. What are those X's? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, these are, they, these are like X signs. You can see the construction workers are over there. They're paving the road. We're going here. We're full to fill up his Mustang because it's almost out of gas, surprisingly. filling up guys I just why that is filling up guys I just want to tell you I just want to tell you that this is going to be a crazy series we're going to be doing some crazy farming in the decade series boys and um we're probably going to finish this drive we're probably going to head back park the park the Mustang and end the video there guys so we just finished filling up and now we're probably gonna probably just head back to the farm. I actually do want to show y'all his grave. So I'm gonna pull in here. Dude, look at some of these new cars. They have some of these brand new cars. I know. No, they just that's actually the first van Dodge has ever made that just came out with them. Um, that's the preacher I'm getting ready to he stands there until like it's time I don't know why uh, they ain't, can't see the gravestone they haven't cut the grass my bad they haven't cut the grass you can't see his gravestone probably wondering oh he died oh, he just shut the door yo church is closing he's closing up the church anyways you're probably like well when did he die he died, he died, um, roughly back in 1973. Yeah, he's been dead for almost two years now. And, I'm, yeah, I'm, and, yeah, I'm just now deciding to come over here to Star's Farm. So, yeah, Fabio's been without eating for two years, sadly. But, but, no, he has had grass. And I did see that there's apples on those trees. So he's probably been eating those. So he, but, so he's alive. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, look at this. We'd rip. He uh, he owns all this land, by the way. He owns all this stuff. He was he's rich. He was rich. So he owns pretty much. He does not own McDonald's, sadly. Or else I'll be eating all the McDonald's at once. <laughs> but we're turning in here. Turn those blink. Make sure his blinkers work. Yeah, they, everything works on it. But we're probably going to end it there, guys. Make sure you guys smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, my goal is, by the end, my goal is to hit, I know my main goal is to hit 1,000 subs. But my, but my second main goal, 
but, but my goal before we hit we get hit 1000 subs is to hit 50 subs guys we're at like 34 subs if we can get the 50 subs before if we can get the 50 subs before the new Fortnite season comes out on the 16th bro i'm lo legit going to give you all a cookie i'm legit going to find a way to give you a cookie somehow if it doesn't happen bro just make sure that if i could i would give you a cookie whatever type of cookie you like you want m m chocolate chip sugar normal Whatever, I'll give it to you. Let's see. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.